lesson is going to cover putting together the three parts of the exam review to create the stuff stuffing box assembly. So we're going to go to new. This time we're going to select assembly. Uh, <coughs> it's going to prompt us to uh, insert some parts. So we're going to go to browse and I'm going to go into my local folder, into my exam review folder. First piece I'm going to put in is the bearing. It's the main part, last one we drew. And I'm going to go back to insert components, browse, select the lock nut. Um, notice I forgot to make my lock nut brass. We can change that in just a moment. Insert component and the packing nut. I'm not sure if I made that brass either. Nope, and that's uh, backwards. So we can create, fix those. Um, I'm going to go over here to the lock nut and see if I can uh, open that from. Allow me to open that file. Yeah, open the part. Let's quickly make that. Um, right click and go to brass. Alright, I'm going to hit save. Close that guy out. And I'm going to right click on this part, open it up, and hit save. Oops, before we save that we want to change it to brass. Okay, that looks better. Save, close that, and now we have three brass parts. Okay, I'm going to go to the mate command and select the inner circle of the locking nut and the outer circle of the bearing. Yes, slide this forward. I'm going to select the mate command again, select the outer circle of packing nut, outer circle, the bearing. We're good. I'm going to add, uh, I want these to be able to move, but I'd like the locking nut to be uh, connected to the packing nut. So we're going to add one more constraint. We're going to select the surface of the lock nut with the surface of the packing nut. And I think we're pretty much done with our assembly. Go to File, Save, put this in the same folder, our exam review folder, last name, first initial, stuffing box. We're good to go.